Hello everyone, I am Dr. Vikram Naidu, Senior Consultant Cardiac Anesthesiologist in the Department of Cardiothoracic Surgery and Heart and Lung Transplant and ECMO Services at Yeshoda Hospitals. Lung transplantation is a major surgical procedure in which the diseased lungs are being replaced by healthy lungs which are being harvested from brain dead donors. So the most common indication of a lung transplantation is end stage lung disease which is caused due to various causes like interstitial lung disease, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease and rare conditions like pulmonary hypertension, sarcoidosis and arteriovenous abnormalities. So lung transplantation can be a bilateral lung transplantation, a unilateral lung transplantation or a rarely a heart and lung combined transplantation. A series of investigations have been performed which include hematological kidney functions, liver functions and the neurological functions have been evaluated by a team of doctors which includes a cardiologist, neurologist, a nephrologist, a psychiatrist, endocrinologist and a gastroenterologist. Preoperatively, these patients are being evaluated by a physiotherapy team which assesses the patient's cardiopulmonary function which aids in their post-op respiratory rehabilitation to improve the patient outcomes. So once the patient's evaluation is being completed, then the patients are being listed under the Jivandan organization at our hospital. So once an appropriate donor, so what I mean to say an appropriate donor is a patient should be matched both by his blood group, height and the lung dimensions. Once it is available, so then these patients are taken up for surgery. Once the organ is satisfactory, the recipient team is being alerted and the patient is wheeled in for lung transplantation surgery. So after advanced hemodynamic monitoring and placing the patient on ECMO support, bilateral lung transplantation procedure is being performed which typically lasts for 6 to 8 hours. After the lung transplantation surgery, the patient is discharged on day 8 to day 10 from the intensive care unit and the patient is on antibiotics and immunosuppressive medication. Thank you.